In the small town of Ravenswood, there stood an old mansion atop a hill known to locals as Maple Hill. The house had remained abandoned for decades, shrouded in a dark history that sent shivers down the spines of those who dared to pass by it at night. Despite the stories of strange occurrences and eerie whispers that surrounded the mansion, a young couple, Emily and Mark, decided to purchase it, believing that it could be their dream home. From the moment they moved in, they felt an unsettling presence lurking within the walls. Strange noises echoed through the empty halls, and objects seemed to move on their own. They brushed off the occurrences as mere coincidences, blaming the old structure's creaks and drafts. One fateful night, as the clock struck midnight, the house awakened with a malevolent force. Emily awoke to the sound of footsteps echoing in the hallway. Thinking it was Mark, she called out, but there was no response. She got out of bed and followed the sound, only to find the hallway empty. Suddenly, the temperature dropped and the air became thick with an eerie chill. Emily sensed a presence behind her and turned around to see a shadowy figure standing at the end of the hallway. Panic gripped her heart as the figure started to approach, gliding silently, its face obscured by darkness. She tried to scream, but no sound escaped her lips. The next day, Emily and Mark decided to consult a local historian about the mansion's history. The historian, Mr. Evans, looked grim as he shared the dark past of Maple Hill. Decades ago, the house belonged to a wealthy family who practiced occult rituals. Legend had it that they made a deal with malevolent spirits to gain power and riches, but the spirits demanded their souls in return. The family disappeared one night, leaving the mansion cursed. Mr. Evans warned Emily and Mark to leave the house immediately, but they were determined to stay, believing that their love could overcome any malevolence that lingered within. As the days passed, the paranormal activities intensified. Objects flew across rooms, doors slammed shut, and ghostly whispers filled the air. Emily and Mark's dreams were haunted by terrifying visions, and their love began to wane under the pressure of the house's sinister influence. One night, they woke to find the walls covered in sinister symbols drawn in blood. Fear consumed them as they realized the malevolent spirits were trying to communicate their intentions. Desperate to end the haunting, Emily and Mark sought the help of a local psychic, Mrs. Montgomery. She arrived at Maple Hill with a sense of unease, cautioning the couple that confronting the spirits might unleash their wrath. Together, they performed a seance, attempting to communicate with the trapped souls. A chilling wind filled the room and a deep voice spoke through Mrs. Montgomery, warning them to leave the house before it was too late. Despite the warnings, Emily and Mark were reluctant to abandon their home, but the malevolence within the house had become too powerful to ignore. One night, as they tried to sleep, the spirits attacked them in their dreams, manifesting as horrifying creatures that seemed intent on devouring their souls. Terrified and exhausted, Emily and Mark finally decided to flee the mansion. As they rushed out the front door, they saw the shadowy figure from before standing at the top of the stairs, watching them leave with glowing, malevolent eyes. Once they left Maple Hill, Emily and Mark sought the help of a priest to cleanse their souls and protect them from the malevolent spirits. They moved to a new town, far away from the haunting memories of the old mansion. Years passed, and they tried to forget the horror they had endured. But no matter where they went, they could still feel the chilling presence of Maple Hill lingering in their minds. The nightmares never truly ceased, a constant reminder of the malevolence they had escaped. And so the haunting of Maple Hill continued, its dark secrets remaining buried within its decaying walls waiting for the next unfortunate souls to awaken the malevolence that resided within. <laughs> Gather round as I recount the harrowing events that took place in the ominous Hollowwood Manor. In the heart of a desolate forest stood the Hollowwood Manor, a grand mansion with a dark history that whispered of ghosts and ghastly secrets. For years, it had been abandoned, left to the mercy of time and decay. Rumors of strange occurrences spread like wildfire, but no one dared approach its ominous gates. 
Enter Alex, an adventurous filmmaker in search of the next spine-chilling story for his YouTube channel. Driven by curiosity and a thirst for the unknown, he gathered his camera and journeyed into the heart of the forest. Armed with only a dim flashlight, he nervously approached the decrepit mansion. As Alex stepped inside the Hollowood Manor, the air grew heavy with an eerie presence. Creaking floorboards echoed through the empty halls, and shadows danced along the walls like sinister specters. Still, determined to capture the truth, he pressed on. Through the lens of his camera, Alex began documenting the mansion's history. He stumbled upon old photographs of a once happy family and newspaper clippings that hinted at tragic events. Legend had it that the spirits of the former residents still lingered, unable to rest in peace. The temperature inside the mansion plummeted, and unseen forces seemed to tug at Alex's very soul. Doors slammed shut, and spectral whispers echoed in his ears, urging him to leave. But he couldn't tear himself away, the allure of the unknown was too strong. As the night wore on, strange occurrences intensified. The camera captured glimpses of apparitions lurking in the shadows. A chilling cold hand brushed against Alex's cheek, and his breath quickened with fear. He was not alone. In one room, he discovered a dusty, forgotten journal. Its pages revealed the heart-wrenching story of a tormented soul who had met a tragic end within the manor's walls. The more he read, the more he felt a connection to the restless spirit. Just when Alex thought he had enough material for his video, the supernatural activity reached its peak. Objects flew across the rooms, and the sounds of anguished wails echoed through the mansion. The spirits were agitated by Alex's presence, desperate to communicate their pain. In a moment of terror, Alex realized that he had unwittingly become a conduit for the spirit's energy. He tried to escape, but the malevolent forces seemed to ensnare him, binding him to the haunted manor. As the first light of dawn broke, the activity finally subsided. Weak and shaken, Alex managed to break free from the mansion's grip. He stumbled back into the daylight, leaving behind the haunted Hollowwood Manor. From that day on, Alex never dared to venture into another haunted place. The experience had changed him, leaving him with a profound respect for the supernatural and the souls that dwell in the beyond. But the Hollowwood Manor's story lives on a cautionary tale of the darkness that lies hidden in the forgotten corners of the world. And if you ever find yourself wandering in the woods and the wind carries a chilling whisper, beware, for you might be closer to the supernatural than you think. Yeah.